Hey everybody, and we're back on doing the roof of the traffic again. Um, yesterday we managed to get the area on there and we got the um, junction box on there to get the wires down through. So let's go and have another look at that, just to have a catch up. So that's where we're at. And that sicker flex is stuck that area on there a treat. Um, I went and got the plastic glands to go in here. Those are the glands. So what we've got to do is pop the inside of those other ones out and feed them through. So we've got two for the solar panel and one for the aerial. Right, over here we have got our solar cables, or oh, solar panel cables. And it, or say solar panel cable, it's an actually a 20 meter cable that's got both connectors on the end. So, what I'm going to do is open that up, cut it in half. So, the connectors go on the roof, and then the wires go back down through the van itself. And I'm going to mark one end of the cable up with red tape, and the other end as well with red tape, so we know which one corresponds with which wire. And once we fit the electrics in the van, we'll cut the cable down to the exact size we need, but I need to get it fed through now so we can um, get the inside paneling put on the roof. Right, so let's get on with it and crack on. <laughs> Remembering these are only plastic, so don't over tighten them. I've put a little bit of Sikaflex on there, so just to give it that added protection and watertight fit. When it comes to popping these bits out the center, all you do is screw one of these in and tighten it up and it'll pop the little plastic center out. There's no special way of doing it. It's just using the actual fitting itself. Right, so what I need to do is feed that over the end of the aerial wire. Feed the aerial wire through there. And then feed the aerial wire down into the van. Right, I don't know if this is gonna squeeze tight enough over that. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna fill this void with Sikaflex. At least that way, it'll stop any water getting in. So literally, you just fill this up.
because of the solar panels going to be sat here, the wires are going to be at the back here somewhere. So they're going to feed in this side of the gland. And these two bits need to be popped out. So let me show you exactly how we do that. Literally screw it in the hole as far as it'll go, which is not very far. And then you tighten it up. And watch this here, we'll just pop out. That's the two glands in the junction box. But look at that aerial. That aerial is going nowhere. Right, so I've got to cut this literally in half. So now we feed that down through the van. Sorry, that's all the cables fed down through the glands and into the roof. So with a bit of sick flex, we fill any voids. reduce 
any ingress of water. That's what we need to do now. Let that dry and then put the lid back on. So on to the next bit, it's fitting the solar panel. For those of you interested in what solar panel I'm using, here's the information now. It is a 305 watt panel. That's a solar panel. If anybody wants to get any comments on it, or any questions on it, leave it below and we're gonna crack on with the project. These are the brackets we'll be using. Um, I'll show you exactly how we're gonna do it. So let's get on with it. First thing I'm gonna do with these brackets is cut them in half because they're kind of a bit long and I bought them to cut in half and use as two singles. So let's go and do that. <laughs> So, I've cut the brackets in half. Right, now I've got to cut these bolts down to attach the crossbars on the roof rack. I've got two nuts on there to serve two purposes. One is to give me the how far I need to cut it off and the other one is when you wind the nuts off after cutting a bolt, it keeps the thread in place. Now I need to go over to the grinder where I've drilled these out and take off the burrs off the back.
Right, so now we've <clears throat> cut the brackets, drilled the brackets. I had to drill two of the holes on one side of each bracket a bit bigger to accommodate the fixings for the Unistrut. Totally forgot that. I did all four holes in every bracket exactly the same. I just had to enlarge them a little bit. So I've done that and cleaned all the burrs off. And now I've got them hung up just here because they need painting. I'm not going to leave them like that. So I'm going to spray them black to match the uh, Unistrut roof rails. Leave that to dry and we'll give it another coat in a moment. enough coats and we need to leave that to dry overnight and then come in tomorrow and we'll be fitting the solar panel onto the roof of the van good morning everybody and welcome back to another day working on the solar panel on the traffic right so the brackets are now dry and painted and done so, first of all I need to drill some holes in the back here to attach the brackets to and I need to put two this end and two the other end Right, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is measure 150 millimetres in from each side. So there's the two marks, that's where I'm going to drill the two holes. What I'm going to use to drill it is a step up bit. Now I know when I'm drilling, I need to go past the first one and to the second step of the drill. That's where I need it. spanner two bolts two washers and two lock nuts one bracket nice and secure now I've got to do the one over this side There you go, both brackets on this end. 
nice and solid. Right, so that's all four brackets now on the solar panel. I've decided to mount the bars on the roof first. So I've measured between the holes from front to back. So the bars are exactly the same distance apart as this bracket to this bracket would be. So I'm gonna bolt the bars on the roof first. We'll do that and then we'll lift the panel onto the roof. That's gonna be the yard bit. I'm gonna be attaching the rear support bar for the solar panel. Right, I'm gonna to have to put spaces in. So we're putting two spaces in, there like that, then the bar on the top, and the same the other side. That's because the shape of the roof means that bar rocks. And the last thing we want is the bar rattling on the roof when you're driving along, make an awful noise. So we've got the captive nut for the Unistrut. Just goes in there, just like that. And then we're going to put two spaces on the bar on top. Put some thread thread lock on top of that. And then the nut. Right, now I need to do the other side, get a spanner and um, tighten it all down. Right, I don't know how far I actually got with the last lot of video footage because the SD card got filled up on the camera. So I'm gonna show you what I've done, um, just in case I didn't get hold of any of it. I bolted the rear bar, support bar for the solar panel, on the van. And let me show you how it's done. Right, so each side, you've got two spacers. And there's a nut, and I put thread lock on the nut. You might be able to see some green in there. And the reason for the spacers is so it gives a nice clear space across the roof line because the roof line is curved, not flat. I'm going to fit the front support bar for the solar panel now, but I'm going to leave that loose. And I'm not going to tighten that down until the actual solar panel is on the roof. 
and I'll attach the solar panel to the support bars and once the support bars, uh, once it's been tightened down on the support bars, the front support bar can be then tightened up fully. And that means the solar panel on the roof will be finished. I'm not gonna connect it up for the obvious reasons, it's not connected inside. Front here, there's still a very, very shallow gap between the roof line and the and the bar. So what I'm going to do here is put a spacer, just the one. I put two at the back, so we're just going to have one here. Put your finger underneath, so you can get the nut on. it loose slightly so we can move it so we get the exact length of the solar panel and it's all in the right place. So it's loose for now, I'll put the other one on the other side loose, then we lift the panel on the roof. We're going to need to get a new aerial. Now we're going to lift the solar panel on the roof. Right, so we've got the uh, solar panel in place. Got two captive nuts, two bolts, and two washers. That's for this. So this. In each, right, let's go through the brackets. So we've got four brackets, and each bracket holding it to the solar panel, we've got two bolts and nuts. So there's eight bolts holding it to the solar panel with four brackets, and the same with holding it to the channel. So it's totally secured. These channel nuts, we'll just lay them in the bottom, twist them. We've got a washer and a bolt. through there, to get it to pick up the channel nut. So I've lined up the brackets with the channel up this end. And what I need to do now is tighten up these nuts here, both ends. So what I'll do is I'll tighten this nut up first, put these brackets, these bolts in this bracket here, then I'll do the other end.
solar panel mounted, I now need to go around and thread lock all, the, all these bolts in the brackets. I just wanted to check that I was happy with it. Totally happy with it. Right, so that is the solar panel secured to the roof bars. And it's on there really solid. Now the solar panel is fitted, all I've got left to do on here now is fit the lid on the junction box. And then I suppose I better show you what it all looks like together. Anyway, have a look at this, see what you think. Leave your comments below. And I'm getting a bit of ahead of myself because it's not finished at all. I've got to put the plastic capping in the channel. That finishes it off. Let's do that and I'll see you shortly. completed the roof of the van everything's on there that I want it to be on there I am really happy with the outcome fingers crossed that whoever buys this van or takes this van off our hands is going to be just as pleased as I am um, the roof light bars on there solar panel is fitted ready to go roof vent is fitted ready to go the cable junction box is all in sealed ready to go TV aerial, ready to go. It's all ready to go. It's all there and all the cables have been fed into the side of the van. So now for the exciting bit, I'm going to show you the completed roof. Cue the music. for the traffic done and like I said I'm really really pleased the way it's turned out right obviously now it's your turn you need to tell me what you think of it in the comments below let me know how you feel about it if I should have done anything different maybe I don't know anyway I'm super chuffed with it super chuffed with it now we're getting to the interesting stuff I like this bit the build this is the bit of it like I start creating something start building something and I start to sort of, I suppose in a way, let those creative juices flow. Um, I'd love to hear what you lot think of it, think of it, think of what I do. Um, believe me, as I keep saying, it's you lot motivate me to do this. Anyway, that's enough of my waffling for today and I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, be happy and bye for now.